Lesson 1. LASER is an acronym. Welcome to your first lesson of Laser Theory 100. Lasers are an amazing technology, and their existence and usefulness span many decades in industries. Before we dive into what lasers are and what they're capable of, we first have to examine the word laser itself. Many people don't know this, but laser is actually an acronym. Let's quickly learn what laser stands for, as it will inform our learning throughout this course and everything to follow on your educational journey. The word laser is a shortened form of an acronym that stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. This means that a laser is a device that makes a very bright and thin beam of light using a special process that involves atoms and molecules. Hey guys, just want to interrupt this lesson for just a second to remind you that if you want a more immersive course experience while you're going through this course or any of our other ones, remember to check out the Laser Master Academy. Not only is it the number one way to support the channel, but you also get the written component, the audio component if you'd rather listen to these lessons, and self-paced assessments so that you can make sure that you are retaining the knowledge that you're gaining while you're going through this course. That's all, I don't wanna take up too much of your time and I don't wanna distract you, so let's go ahead and get right back to the lesson. Find out more at masters.lasereverything.net. The word laser was first used in 1960 based on the earlier word maser, which stands for microwave amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Stimulated emission is a process that happens when a light particle called a photon hits an atom or a molecule that has extra energy. The photon makes the atom or molecule give up its extra energy and release another photon that has the same color, direction, and phase as the first one. This way, the light is amplified and becomes more intense and coherent. Now that you know what laser stands for, in the next section we'll talk just a little bit about the interesting history of lasers and their impact on technology.